Well, hi guys and gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. Well, the Shade Tree Railroad Man today. Again, this is, and I don't know if you can see it, if I can get it to hit the right light. I believe it says Cobra. And uh, Cobra is the registered trademark. You see that right there? Yep, Cobra. And as close as I could tell, this came off of the railroad tracks. Uh, one of the Owen boys picked this up. I think it was Ben. And they can correct me if I'm wrong. My guess is that it is a brake shoe off of um, some kind of a rail car. But maybe some of you guys know better than I do. That's my guess. I haven't done any investigation yet. Um, so, here's another. What is it? Ooh, we know what that thing is buzzing around there through the camera. He can uh, go away anytime he wants. It's a bee. Although he looks like he might be a honeybee. So I'm not going to be angry with him because honeybees are not a lot of them around anymore. So I'm going to take you in. Oh, we have an answer to our question from yesterday. Hold your hat. Yesterday's question was, what was this wrench? And we identified it as being from the C uh, CNNWT, I think that was what it was. Don't know what the 58 stands for, but we do know that this Woodward, our Warwood, however you pronounce it, I think it's Warwood, uh, is the company that makes it, and they still make them to this day. They have them in their catalog. And as several of my viewers um, correctly named it, it is a spike puller, spike pulling wrench. And my guess is that there's probably a bar that went on the end of this, you know, that it would extend it out. But yeah, they still use them. This is one of many different kinds. And uh, so thank you all who posted your answers. And some even gave me links to the Warwood site, which I had just previously found doing my own investigation. And uh, so on to the next one. And maybe we can uh, figure out... Oh, I see another number on here. What's this down in here? It's got to be upside down, I think. Let me get down in there. H something. H5? Maybe. The high side? Huh, who knows? But maybe somebody else will chime in on this one and let us know exactly what kind of a uh, vehicle it goes on. Thanks again for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, this is George saying, uh, Oh, it's another beautiful day here in Minnesota, and I'm sitting on my back deck underneath the shade tree. Bye for now.